Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and in my previous video I showed you how to set up an Etsy store. Well in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a print-on-demand store called Printified and how to link that with your Etsy store so that each time you make a sale the print-on-demand store will be able to process that and send that out to your customer. Printify is just one of several print-on-demand stores that you can use to produce your designs. When you create an account, you can upload your designs onto a range of products. Printify allows you to add your designs to things like t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, notebooks, stickers, pictures, and even leggings. When a customer buys your product, Printify will create it and send it out to them. They will charge you the cost of the product and the delivery fee. First thing you need to do is to create your account. So you can sign in with either your email address and create a password or you can use your Google account. Then tick the I am not a robot box, click the sign up box and this will take you to the next page where Printify will ask you a little bit about yourself. Under what describes you best, look through the list and click on the sentence that suits you. I chose content creator. Are you already selling? Again, choose the sentence most appropriate for you. I chose no, but I am looking to start selling. Then click the next button. The store setup checklist. You will see here that there are five tasks that you need to carry out in order to complete the checklist. The first thing has been checked for you. Create a Printify account. The next thing to do is to add a store name. Click on that and add your store name. I added the same name that I used for my Etsy account. Then click and save. You need to enter your contact details. So add your name, phone number and address. You are now ready to start to add your first design. Click and this will take you to the product catalogue. This is where you can see all the products that are available. The product categories are listed on the left hand side. It is a good idea to go through the list and familiarise yourself with what is on offer. Each category lists the products with the best sellers at the top. Under each product you will find the following information. The product listing name, the brand, the base price, the amount of sizes available, the amount of colours that are available and the amount of product providers who will produce and deliver this product for you. If you sign up for the paid premium account you can get a discount on these products and this price is shown in green but you don't need to at the beginning. I haven't so I want to see how it goes first before I decide to upgrade. Once you've decided on your product, click on the link and you will find more information. Here you can see I have clicked on the unisex jersey short sleeve tee. On the left hand side you can see different images of that product. And on the right hand side you can see more details about the make and design of the product. Underneath is a list of different print providers. They have been sorted and ranked by Printify's internal ranking system. This is the number in the blue box. But you can click on the sort by button and organize the list according to product price, shipping price and average production time. Other information you will find is the range of sizes and the colors that each provider provides. When you click on shipping and more details, you will get more specific information about a particular provider. You will find out more about the sizes that are available, the colours that are available, the shipping rates, quality control and information about packaging. It's a good idea to go through a few designers or providers to decide which one you feel best suits your needs. Once you're ready, you can then click on the Start Designing button. Before you click the Add Your Design button, you want to make sure that your image is big enough and is of the recommended resolution so that it will look good on whatever you are printing your design on. Click the upload and add your PNG or JPEG image. 
there's a little timer that will show how long it will take for your image to upload. Once this is done, you can now move the image up and down, left to right, so that it is in the optimal position. This is also the area where you can choose other t-shirt colours. In this example, there are 50 colours to choose from. You would just need to click on the little arrow and then click on the colours that you like. Once you're done, click on the preview button so you can see what your image will look like on your t-shirt. If you want to alter the image, just click the edit button and manipulate your image until you are happy with how it looks. Click the preview button again. When you are completely happy, you can click to save the product. Your product is now in draft form on your Printify website. The next thing you want to do is to click the edit button so that you can add your product title and product description. Now adding a product title, the best thing to do is to check out similar titles and similar products that are on sale on the Etsy website already. Then you can make sure that your title is similar and the same sort of style. And you'll also want to know what sort of keywords you should include. In the description box, some basic information about the product has already been included by Printify. Uh, you can leave that there. Uh, and it's also a good idea if you add extra information that's a bit more specific to the product that you are selling so that your customer has more information about what they will hopefully be buying from you. In the pricing section you will find the following information. All the colours and sizes that are available with the provider that you have chosen and the colours and sizes that you have opted to choose the cost price per unit, the retail price, the profit and the profit margin in percentages. Now if you click the top button that will select all variants and then click on update price and enter the amount that you want to sell your product for. This will then automatically update the profit and profit margin columns. Be sure to choose a price that will cover the production cost and the delivery cost as well as leave you with something so that you actually make a profit from your product. Under store details, you want to tick the box to publish your product to your Etsy store. This will then open a drop down menu with the following information already ticked off. Product details to sync to your Etsy store, product title, product description, mockups, colors, sizes and prices. Under the shipping profile, the information here will describe how your product will be posted. You need to let your customer know how much it will cost for postage and how long it will take for them to receive their package. This information needs to be completed in the Etsy store so that you can then select the relevant information to click in this box. Now you can scroll back up to the top of your page and check all the information that you filled in to make sure that you're happy with everything. It's at this time I would suggest that you copy and paste all the details that you've written into a Word doc or a Google doc because if you decide, for example, that you'd like to edit the design, this could delete all the details that you've just filled in. I know this because I've had this happen to me a couple of times and it is really annoying. So always have your information written into another document so that you can always copy and paste and you won't lose anything. Now you're ready to hit the publish button. Click the button and it will take a few seconds to generate your image so that your product appears. If there are quite a few people who are using the Printify website at the same time, you might see something that says that your product is in a list waiting to be generated. Still, it doesn't take too long, your product will show up eventually. The next thing you need to do is to connect your Printify store to your Etsy store. All you need to do is to click on the little down arrow, click Manage Stores and then click Add New Store. This will then bring up the list of different stores that you can connect to and you'll want to connect to the Etsy store. Click on that and you'll see this page. Scroll down the page and you'll see a blue button that says allow access. Click on that and you will be connected to your Etsy store.
If you click on the See in Store button, this will direct you to your Etsy page and you'll be able to see exactly what your listing will look like on that store. There are a couple of things that we need to edit on the Etsy website. So if you scroll back to the top and you'll see the listing tools, uh, you need to click on the Edit button and then we'll go to the listing details. As this product is going to be produced by a print-on-demand company, you have to acknowledge this in your listing. So click on the drop-down menu and choose who made this, another person or company. Under what is this, click on a finished product and under when was it made, click made to order. Underneath this, you will then see the words this product is handmade with production assistance. Some of the information has already been autofilled and there are some sections that you can fill in but they are not necessary so it's an option for you. The only one I completed was the sleeve length of the t-shirt which are short sleeves. Under renewal options you can choose for it to auto renew or you can manually renew it choice is yours. Each listing costs 20 cents. Next, make sure that the physical product box is checked as this will be a physical product that you will be producing. In the description box you will see the information that you added to the Printify store has been replicated here. You can add more information here if you'd like but remember that this will not appear on your Printify store. Under production partners this is where you have to put the details of the print-on-demand company that you are using. So add the name and the country, then click the Update Partner button. Then check the Production Partner box. Tags are helpful keywords that can help to get your product discovered on Etsy. Here you can add up to 13 different tags. It's a good idea if you check similar products on the store and see what they've used for their tag. And you can then add these words here if they are appropriate for your uh, product. Under quantity, you can add any number here as print on demand products are limitless. You will also want to double check the pricing and product variants to make sure that the ones that you want are available. You can choose to remove any colors or sizes if you wish to. Under the delivery section, this is where you need to set up your postage and delivery information correctly. You can edit the options that are available or you can set up a custom delivery option. Firstly, you need to enter which country the product is being dispatched from and this will depend on the provider that you choose from Printify. Then you'll need to edit and add the appropriate prices and delivery date estimates for the countries that you want to be able to deliver to. So you can choose to just ship to the USA, just to Europe, just to a specific country, or you can decide that you want to deliver everywhere. So you just need to make sure that you've set the right postage amount and a good delivery date. Once you save your delivery options, you will be ready to hit the publish button. And now your product listing is available on the Etsy store customers to buy. Once a customer makes an order, that information is sent straight to Printify and they will produce your product and they will post it directly to your customer. The last thing that you need to do is to head back to your Printify store and click on edit listing. Then you'll need to scroll down to the shipping profile and you'll want to click to choose the uh, shipping profile information, your postage and delivery option that you chose in your Etsy store. Once that's connected, hit the publish button again and you are ready to make sales. If this video was helpful, please tap the like button and think about subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.